All right. Back in uh back in First Timothy chapter four, I'm gonna start at uh, verse fourteen again. It reads, "Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, because uh this is a uh, prophesied. You know that, you know in these uh last days, the Most High was gonna send forth his his teachers. You know, you got Jeremiah three and fifteen, uh." It talks about the Most High to send you pastors according to his heart that shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You know, you got uh, uh, Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah, I can't think of the chapter and verse off, off, offhand, but it uh, talks about that his teachers, the Most High teachers, should not be removed in corners anymore. You know? And there's, and there's, and there's many other scriptures, but those are two scriptures that I, that I thought about, you know? Um... Reading on, it says, with the lying on of hands of the presbytery, verse 15, it says, meditate upon these things. Like we read in Joshua 1 and 8, it, it said, uh, meditate therein day and night, you know? So we got to meditate uh, upon these upon these scriptures, you know? Um, let's see. It says, meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, meaning give give uh yourself all the way over to this truth, man. Don't be halfway in the truth. You know? Don't uh uh not give it your all, man. But give it your all and be all the way in this thing, man. Be all the way in the word. You know, by reading uh giving exhortation uh sticking to the doctrine getting into the doctrine you know that that you may be an example a manifest well the scripture is going let me see right the scripture is going to go into it it says meditate upon these things give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all Meaning, when the Most High bless you with His wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, it's gonna show forth. You know, it's gonna show forth through your, through your the example that you set. You know, the example you set for brothers, and also pushing this word, going out on the highways and byways, teaching, putting up lessons, uh, teaching this this word. You know, um. Yeah, I read that last part of this verse. It says that thy profiting may uh, may appear to all, you know, and you know we that's the profit that we're looking for, not a not a profit of this world, but a profit in the spirit, uh, spiritual blessings uh, from the Hawabah Shem Yahushai, and <clears throat> the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai giving you the spirit and power. To teach this word, uh, to go out on the highways and byways, to be an example unto to the brothers, you know. So I'll continue. I'll, I'm gonna finish out this last verse, and then that'll pretty much be it. It says, uh, "Take heed unto thyself, and on it says, and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee." Check that out. That's a powerful verse. It says, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. See? So, you know, I want to bring these scriptures out once again. Going in to abide in Yahweh Shai so that you may be confident. Meaning, get in these scriptures read stick to the doctrine get into the different breakdowns of the doctrine that you may be able to teach this teach this word and also be an example of of this word you know by you living what's written in the, in the bible that you may uh be confident when your shy be confident when your shy return you know
that you may be confident that I deserve to be delivered. I feel that I've done all that I ne that, that was required of me so that I can receive salvation. And if you don't, you're going to feel the shame. And uh, most likely you're not going to be delivered, man. You're going to end up getting destroyed. And, you know, we, we got to pray that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai don't take the spirit from us because if it be his will, he can take the spirit from you. That's the truth of the matter. And with that, man, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory once again to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all the Akim across the four corners of the world that's pushing this truth and faith and its sincerity. Who are of the hopeful elect, a shallow one.